Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Daya Monet. Thank you for tuning in for yet another video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already, honey. Because we're serving looks all summer, period. Protective styles for days. But on a serious note, today's video is all about my soft locks. I have 32 inch soft locks in my hair, honey. No extending. The locks came pre-extended and I just added a little razzle dazzle to just make it even cuter. Added some color and really just got that little soft lock, slightly distressed texture. So if you're interested in how I achieve this look, keep watching. Okay guys, so we're going to be using two different types of hair today. The first type of hair is from an Amazon company called Yorda. I got the faux locks from them. They're already pre-extended, so no need to tie two locks together because I don't have time for that. So I got them in 32 inches. They also came in 36 inches. I think that was the longest length. I got the color 1B. And they already have like a nice little luster to them. But yeah, so I'm still going to go ahead and use a different type of hair on top just because I want it really shiny and kind of want that in like that distressed look. But yeah, so the Amazon hair came in six different packs. And I think it was like $50 maybe. And I did pay for it with my own money. But yeah, I'll have all the details down below. So this is what the hair looks like in terms of its length. Pretty long. Goes past my butt. And I'm 5'4 and 3 eighths. So yeah. And so for the second hair that I'm going to use to wrap around the locks, I'm using the Free Trust Water Wave. I'm using four different colors. 1B, 4, 30, and 27. So I want like a little highlighted look throughout. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a crochet needle. And then also this Murray's Edge Wax Extreme Hold. If y'all watched my channel before, y'all know I used to be Die Hard, Shine and Jam. But honey, Murray's. If you have thick hair like me, I'm going to try to insert a clip to show you how thick my hair is. This is the way to go. It holds so much better. Wait for the grand reveal. So I already did my plaits. And honey, what? I'm sorry? Clean parts. Hair is not curling up. Mary's is that girl, okay? I worked really hard on these parts, okay? I was standing in front of a mirror for like three hours. Hand clap for me. Thank you, thank you. Let me thank my mom. Okay, let me stop. But no, yeah, guys. So all I did was just some regular three-strand braids. That's it. Just a regular plait. And yeah, this is my braiding pattern. So let's get into it. So at the end of each fold lock, there's going to be a loop. So you're just going to go ahead and extend that with your fingers. Put your crochet needle through the base of your plait. And you're going to go ahead and hook the loop over the crochet needle. And then you're going to close your latch. And then pull straight through. And then you're going to reopen the loop. And now you're going to take both your natural plait and the fold lock and stick them through the loop. And then pull in opposite directions to make sure that it's tight. And I'm just going to show you this one more time. I like to go ahead and just do this for the whole row and then go back and start wrapping the locks. I think it's just more efficient. And now I'm taking my Freetress Water Wave and this is in the color 4 that I'm going to use to wrap around. So what you want to do is make sure it's nice and fluffy just so we can get full coverage of our locks. And then you're going to make sure that the length is asymmetrical so you want to have a short side and then a long side. And so once again I'm sticking my crochet needle through the base of my braid. And then you're going to go ahead and hook the Freetress hair on. Close the latch. Pull through. And then you're going to go ahead and hold... The short end of the hair along with the faux lock and your natural plait and then have the long piece in the other hand and then you're just going to start wrapping around the base and you want to make sure that this is tight as you're doing this so that the hair does not slip or have your natural hair poking out from underneath and so I'm just wrapping really tight around the base about three to four times just to make sure it's secure and then I'm going to start to you know pick up the pace as I move down the plait and you see how I'm using my finger kind of to help smooth it over as I'm going. That just gives you a more uniform look. But if you wanted more of a distressed look, you could definitely not do the finger as much. Just kind of wrap loosely in general. Yeah, 
And as you approach the end of the lock, you're going to start wrapping up in the opposite direction. This is going to help secure the hair so that it doesn't come loose. So I'm just wrapping up instead of wrapping down how it was before. And then to seal it, I'm just going to hit it with a palm roll. And then you're good to go. And so there's still a little curly piece at the end from the short hair that was that we were wrapping around. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing with that piece of hair. Just go ahead and wrap on up to secure it. And then re-palm roll. So now I'm going in with the color 30 hair that I'm going to be wrapping around. And so once again, stick the crochet needle under the base. Latch on the Freetress Water Wave hair. Pull through. Make sure that it's asymmetrical so you have a short side and a long side. And then you're going to grab the short end of the hair along with the faux lock and your natural plait in one hand. And then wrap the long piece of the hair with your other hand. And for this look, I only use one strand of the Water Wave per lock. I did initially try to wrap the color all the way down to the ends, but it just got ridiculous because it's just harder to get tension on the hair since it's so long. And so it ended up being kind of loose and looking kind of crazy. So I just did one strand and I felt like it was cute, you know. It was enough color for what I needed it to do and it had a nice, you know, shiny texture that it added as well. And for the last plait, I'm using the color 27 hair. And this for this type of hair is very important that you, you know wrap very tightly at the base because it will start to poke out since your hair is so dark. Well, my hair is so dark compared to this light colored hair, so I made sure I wrapped really tight. But I got kind of lazy <laughs> towards the end, so like I did have some black pieces poke out after a while. But I feel like it just adds to the distressed look, so it's not really that serious. But it's just something to keep in mind when wrapping. <laughs> And now it's time to style our edges. So I went ahead and used the Murray's as well for my edges. This is my first time using it. I think it did a pretty good job, but I think I still prefer my style factor for my edges. But it did what it needed to do for the time being. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add some mousse as well just to help set everything in. I'm using the Lotta Body Mousse and just putting a little bit on top. Alright guys, so that's a wrap. I did about 62 locks total because I used three packs and then a little bit more um, of the Amazon hair and there's 20 locks in each pack. So yeah, and then about the water wave, I didn't really didn't use as much as I thought I would since I didn't go the full length of the lock. So I would say maybe like three packs total. But yeah, it's super affordable style. It came out beautiful. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. I'm loving the long locks. They're just gorgeous, honestly. So I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And also I have a how to style these locks video on the way. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, bye. Have a blessed day. Love you.